I met the woman who's now my wife, and uh, she was a screenwriter. And uh, I had a story to tell, and she encouraged me to tell it. And uh, that script got a lot of attention. And uh, I wrote a second script that got me a, uh, a feature deal at Disney. It was called uh, Bad O, and uh, nothing ever happened with it. And uh, that's probably a good thing. It was just about a um, sort of almost cartoonish uh, hero uh, who <laughs> was a sort of crusader for, for justice. I wrote a, the script that I originally wrote was about uh, three kids who are um, baseball players who are seniors in high school and getting ready to go off to Vietnam. It's called National Pastime. I was lucky enough to have a contact, uh, a uh, soon-to-be relative, uh, who was an agent who got it to Disney right when the regime change was going on there, when Eisner and Katzenberg had come over from Paramount. So they were uh, spending a lot of money, I think, in, in acquiring um, personnel over at Disney. So I was lucky to be a part of that uh, original sort of energy impulse over there. You know, I was sort of awed by them, and uh, uh, they were very hands-on, so I got to spend time, you know, meeting with them, meeting with Michael Eisner, uh, hearing what he had to say. It was, uh, it was a really heady time, and I didn't actually know how lucky I was until later on. But, well, they inspired it because they were hungry for good product and good material, and I remember I wrote a, a television pilot there that Jeffrey Katzenberg uh, singled out as, as something that uh, he loved. Uh, nothing ever happened with it, but uh, it was, you know, it was good feedback for a young writer. I was uh, lucky enough to have a second screenplay read uh, and not purchased, but uh, given, a, I think it was a three-picture deal, uh, an office, and eventually a secretary, and I was in the movie business. I really was not working on anything at that time. I had no idea that I was going to be in the movie business as quickly as I was. But uh, while I was there, I had a chance to write uh, several different uh, Disney Sunday movies. And uh, two of them were made, and uh, a television pilot was made while I was there, too. I didn't actually anticipate writing for television or didn't um, imagine myself as a television writer. But the opportunities came because there were producers producing Disney Sunday movies, which was uh, the Sunday night movie at the time. They came by, would come by my office and introduce themselves and ask me if I wanted to you know, go to work on a television project. And uh, I never said no to anyone.